Okay, testing an EL84 valve on uh, an AVO Mark III tester. Now, this is to show that uh, this is so well calibrated, this machine, uh, because this valve is 100%. Um, it's a, although it's a Sovtech one, it's um, extremely nicely made. And um, anyway, we set the controls by um, checking with the AVO book for the EL84 and you can see that uh, got to set the rollers there uh, standard 6 volts uh, for the heater 7.3 grid voltage volts a normal 250 volts on the screen and anode uh, and then it should give 48 milliamps and the uh, milliamps per volt should be 11.3 so we've set the control here at 7.3 volts uh, these are 250 volts each um, it's 6.3 volts on the heaters the mains voltage is calibrated on that dial there where it should be dead center and I've got a nominal 11.3 volts on the milliamps per volt and uh, these other controls um, will be for checking the valve. So we turn the um, control down here to check the heater, uh, which shows it's uh, a dead short circuit, which it should be. And then you can cont continue rotating for checking for leakage on any of the internal connections. Um, should sh this should show uh, a high mega ohms which it does. I, I did actually have the valve on earlier, that's why there's a bit of um, cathode. Uh, it's still warm, a little bit of emission from the cathode, but that's fine. So then you check for the heater on this control here. He heater insulation, or the, well the heater leakage, there's no leakage at all. Then you check for the cathode to heater insulation uh, that's showing none and the uh, valve is actually heating up while those two controls are on I should really leave it on a little longer see if there's any leakage but there is there's none so then we can go to the test position switch it to test and the meter goes up showing the current which looks like it's near enough 48 milliamps as this control here is a bit sensitive, but it's near enough. 73, as in the book, 48 milliamps, it's near enough. Now, to check the uh, milliamps per volt setting, you use these two controls down here to zero the meter, zero the meter, and increase the meter sensitivity here, uh, zero the meter down, increase sensitivity to maximum put the meter to zero and then you turn it one more position uh, it will be a slight drift at these very small small figures turn it to test and if it hits number one which is pretty much where it has hit in the middle of the good that means it's spot on well um, the milliamps is 11.3 milliamps per volt as per the book um, these controls are not a hundred percent um, the movement of the main position but it's dead nice valve everything is 100 percent so uh, we turn the sensitivity back down to so we don't damage the meter turn these controls back to the zero position 48 milliamps then we can take off um, the test and uh, sometimes the, me the megahms when these things are hot is a little higher but this one's um, really really high insulation very very high and uh, that's just the turn it off down here so there you go that is a perfect valve so now I know that the meter is working really really well so I can test other used EL84s and compare them